Hello everyone, welcome back to my stock channel. Now in this tutorial we are going to see our next layout which is the border layout. Now this border layout, how it is going to arrange your component, just let me tell you. Border layout contain the four narrow with a fixed width component at its edge. Okay. Now what exactly, how exactly will be the output, just let me tell you. Suppose this is your output stream. So this will have a four, four narrow which will have a fixed width component at the edges. Along with that it will have a big center. So now these edges, these edges are nothing but they are the north, south, east and west and this is the center. So these edges are nothing but they are to be said in modern layout as north, south, east and west and the center one is the part. So these are the parts of a border layout and here you are going to arrange your whatever the uh, components are there. Now let's see what exactly, how exactly we are going to do this border layout or how exactly we are going to use in, in Java. Now here are two constructors. The first one is the border layout which will create a default layout and the second one is the border layout which has two parameters which is vertical and horizontal. You have to specify some of the numbers which will be the space of the component uh, between the horizontal and vertical space here you have to specify where it will have the space between the component that you are going to arrange in a border layout. Now here, here are some of the constants of border layout. First one is a border layout dot center, then the border layout dot east, then west, north and south in the same way for all. Now how exactly we are going to add the components on the border layout. So here is the method called add. Just remember this add. This add method is the method of a container class. Just remember the add method is of a compo of a container class. Now it has two parameters. The first one is a component O which which is the object. Now here what exactly you have to pass here you have to pass the object that you wanted to place on the border layer. And second one is the region. Here you have to specify this use this constants how exactly you are position should be there of a component whether it should be at the center towards the east towards the west towards the north or towards the south so this is regarding the border layout now next we will see off card layout so my dear friends, now we will turn towards the card layout, which is very important, which has some of the uniqueness as compared to the other layout. Just listen carefully because whatever the programming is there of this card layout is somewhat complicated as related to other other layout which are there. Now how exactly you will see the output of this card layout? Now suppose here is your output screen. And suppose here you have taken the two buttons. Okay, now here you have take the two buttons suppose here is a, a and here is a b now by default here you will have suppose whenever you click on this a whenever you click on this a you will see these buttons are already there but whenever you click on this a button here suppose it will have some word information just here i am giving you the example whenever you click on this button here will be the screen of output screen whenever you click on this a button it will move towards a next button and whenever you click on this b here will have some word different information that means depend upon this component whatever as you take for other requirement, when we click on it, moves to another. And I'm sure it is nothing but the panel. The screen it get moves towards the next screen. So this whatever the information will be there. It will it is the panel. Just remember in the previous also in border layout, whatever the center was there, that center is also a panel. Just remember. So here it is the panel should contain a card layout in this card layout while using now this is the container in this container we are going to have we are going to use the object of panel so this is what the working of card layout just remember whenever we click on this it will move towards the screen and we'll have a different information as per the requirement so just click on the b here it will have a different information or different output but here the button will be the same now here if you see here are two constructors first one is default and second one is so horizontal and vertical which will be the space between the component vertical and horizontal space you have to specify. Now the next one is 
is a add a method which comes just remember this method is of contain as i told in the border layout also now using this method we are going to apply this card layout now it has two parameter just remember component where it will have the panel object just remember here it will have a panel object and here it to object name now here what exactly you will pass now suppose that i told this is the panel suppose here you take an example of a whenever you click on this a here it will have a right so now this this is the panel so this will have the object of this panel and for this object name so the whatever the object we are going to create for the button it should be passed here so in this way we are going to create a cart layer now